Hello, welcome to another video. Today what I want to show you is how to get perfect stars inside of Cyril. Um, I've struggled with this for quite a while. I never really liked the shape of my stars because they are very much oversampled with my long focal length telescope. And with this new feature inside of the developer version of Cyril, so it's the developer version, not the standard version. If you don't have the developer version yet, I'll link it up in the top right. Um, to, uh, to a video where I'll show you how to download it. But basically, in the developer version, what it has is a new feature, which is going to process the stars for you using a Gaussian blur, and it will create basically good looking stars. These stars you can then put back into your starless version and get a good looking image. So, first thing we need to do is to run StarNet. So, we're going to go into Star Processing. Starnet Star Plus Plus Removal and you need to do this on your your unstretched image so what I've done on this image only is a background extraction and a color calibration and then you already want to, do, to remove the stars so we're going to pre-stretch our image and we're going to create a star mask so hit execute and this is going to run for a while maybe like two minutes and after that I'll see you guys. So, it has just finished Starnet, but something I did forget to mention is that if you don't have a working Starnet yet inside of Cyril, I just created a video about it uh, quite recently. It is in the top right corner uh, of the screen and then you can run through that one and then you should be able to have uh, to run Starnet as well. But to continue with this video, it has just finished with StarNet, so normally what I would do is process the starless version. But for this video I won't do that, I'm just going to process the stars. So go to the star mask version, the star mask. Set the viewing mode to linear, so it doesn't uh, kill your eyes. A sign should work fine too. I personally prefer A sign, because you just get a little bit of a stretched version from the stars. So, it's, um, it's a very easy process, you go into star processing, full resynthesis, and now it's going to detect the stars, and when it has detected the stars, it will put a Gaussian blur on it, and using this Gaussian blur, it is going to perfect your star, uh, your star sizes and your star shapes and everything. After you have done the star processing, what I like to do just to make sure the colors are perfect is a photometric color calibration. Um, yeah, for me it has saved the the the, the details, but uh, you can just figure it out. It's not that difficult. And then we're going to stretch. A sign transformation works fine, and then just to the point where it looks decent enough, I would say. Something like this looks pretty good. So, after that you're done processing your starless version and also your star mask version that you now have stretched as well, just to a certain amount, we can go into pixel math. Personally, I prefer pixel math over the star processing uh, one because I find it more consistent in its results. But you can try it, it has some very great features. Um, it has worked for me in the past as well. But for, this, for the sake of this video, I'll just use Star Mask, Star uh, Pixel Math. Um, I like to rename them just so it's a little bit easier. So for example, S and L because I'm not typing out uh, mixed starless and mixed star mask all the time. I can just do S plus L times two. Let's try that. As you can see, it's already getting like decent stars inside of our images. Um, and you can play with this, you can try it out, you can um, tweak it a bit, run it again, it's going to get uh, slightly different results maybe. Um, but what I like most about this is that the star sizes are, in my opinion, a lot better. Because for example, the star, this star used to be like this big, and now it's like very, it's fairly small, and doesn't have as much of an impact on my final result. Um, it also keeps the star colors, like this one, it's nice and red. But this one right here, for example, is nice and white still. Or this one. 
So you can try this out, just run it through, um, you can tweak the pixel math, like times 2 is going to give a different result than not times 2, or you can do times 3. Or like I said, you can do the star processing and then the star recomposite. That works pretty well as well. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Clear skies.